Congratulations on your pregnancy. My name is Nick Braithwaite. I'm the Chief of Obstetrics and Gynecology and the Co-Medical Director of the Women's and Children's Program here at William Osler Health System. We're thrilled you've decided to have your baby with us. Our labor and delivery program is the largest in the greater Toronto area. Last year alone, 7,500 babies were born at our hospitals. Every member of our team is passionate about their role in helping you deliver and care for your baby. Today, we'd like to give you a behind the scenes look at our program. You'll get a chance to learn more about why the Brampton Civic Hospital is a great place to have your baby. Enjoy the tour. We look forward to seeing you soon. Hi, I'm Kelly Falzon. I'm the Director for Women's and Children's Services at William Moser Health System. We're very proud of the warm, caring and friendly environment we provide to our patients and their families in our labor and delivery department. Our exceptional team is committed to providing the best possible birth experience for women and their families. On this tour, you will see our labor and delivery unit where you'll have your baby, our postpartum area where you'll spend time with your baby before going home, and our neonatal infant care unit for babies who require special care. You'll also have the opportunity to learn more about the programs and services we offer. This is an exciting time for you and your family. You're gonna have a baby. Once you arrive at Brampton Civic, the quickest and easiest way to get to the labor and delivery unit is to park near the emergency entrance and take the snow elevators to the third floor. Once you get out of the elevators, our labor and delivery unit is only a few short steps down the hall. You will need to pick up the phone to gain entry to the unit. The registration clerk on the other end will open the door and direct you toward the registration desk. Once you are registered, you will be directed to the triage area where your labor will be assessed. If you are in active labor, you will be admitted and assigned one of our warm and supportive nurses who will assist you with the delivery of your baby. Our birthing suites are large and comfortable providing enough room for you and two of your loved ones. In addition to these 11 birthing suites, we also have two operating suites, which are used for planned and emergency cesarean sections. Having a baby is a wonderful, life-changing experience. Our labor and delivery team is committed to ensuring your journey is a personal one. We welcome and respect all cultural, traditional, and religious preferences. Our nurses, doctors, midwives, and patient care managers make it their goal to support you in every way possible in a friendly and caring environment. When you are in active labor, we can provide pain medication that will help control your pain. We offer a range of options which your nurse, midwife, anesthesiologist, or obstetrician can discuss with you. Once your baby is born, you will have a chance to spend some time with your little one in the birthing suite before being moved to the postpartum unit. If your baby is in need of additional care, depending on the situation, he or she may need to spend some time in our neonatal intensive care unit. The staff in this unit are highly trained and will support you and your family while your baby grows healthy and strong enough to go home. Our postpartum unit is located just down the hall from the labor and delivery area. Typically, mothers stay in this unit for 24 to 48 hours depending on the type of delivery they've had. There are three different types of accommodations within this unit. There are private rooms with one bed, a reclining chair, and a large bathroom. There are semi-private rooms which you share with one other mom. They include two beds, two reclining chairs, and a large bathroom. To provide you with added privacy, these rooms are divided by curtains. There are also ward rooms, which contain three beds. This room you will share with two other moms and their newborns. They include three beds, three reclining chairs, and a large bathroom. These rooms are also divided by curtains. Both private and semi-private rooms are not covered by OHIP and are available for an additional fee. You can request one of these rooms in advance at the registration desk when you are admitted. Visitors can get to the postpartum unit easily. It's best for them to park at entrance A and take the Rose elevators to the third floor. Brampton Civic Hospital is one of five hospitals across Canada that partnered with Canadian Blood Services to help build a national public cord blood bank. 
When you deliver your baby at this hospital, you will have the opportunity to donate your baby's umbilical cord blood. The blood in the umbilical cord and placenta are rich in stem cells, which can be used to help patients in need of a stem cell transplant across the country or around the world. Taking your baby home is exciting. Our staff are dedicated to ensuring that you have access to the support services you may need once you leave the hospital. In addition, our nurses and doctors at the pediatric and obstetrical clinic just down the hall from our labor and delivery unit can provide any follow-up care you or your baby may need. We are truly excited that you're having your baby here at Brampton Civic Hospital. We're looking forward to seeing you closer to your due date.